Welcome to another haul video for me today. All of these items were purchased at estate sales over this past weekend and at a thrift store I went to today. Actually, I went to two thrift stores today. Um, one of the items from that thrift store I will be showing in a haul tomorrow. I'm in the process of letting it um, kind of air dry. It, it's a little bit wet, so I'll have to show that tomorrow. Okay. Where should I start? I think I'll start with this because it's magnificent. This is Westmoreland and this is the Wakefield pattern. It is ruby red. Now I realize that it looks a lot darker in this light, so I will take this votive out of there and show you the true color of it. It is flashed red and it is a stunner. This is um, definitely um, a more rare fairy lamp to find. It is absolutely stunning guys I'm so excited about it okay I always start over here so I think I will again today these two books are both written for women by men because you know that's how things happened a lot back in the day the day being the 50s um, this book was first written in 1943 I believe and this is a printing from 1954 um, it is a book like I said written by a man explaining uh, to women what motherhood is like and what you know pregnant mothers should do it has a lot of illustrations um, I guess that's stretch marks that's not fun to look at um, anyway it has a lot of tables and just a lot of information like about hereditary heredity god I cannot talk um, let's see let me see if I can find the table of contents um, let's see, anatomy and physiology, reproduction, mental attitude and belief, beliefs. Um, anyway, it just goes on and on about what women should do um, when they're wanting to become a mother or when they're already pregnant. I do like the cover. I think that's kind of sweet, but I'm glad we don't live in these times. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I would make it. Um, this one is written in 1950. This is Tomorrow You Marry. And this is for women, and I suppose men. Um, it seems to mainly be for women. Um, it explains, like, the whole, the appropriate courtship you should have um, when you're wanting to marry, what marriage means, uh, most people do, which is the first chapter. I did read it, and it says that most people get married, um, which is not so much true these days. Um, it explains what a good Christian household should be like, uh, what you should do to have a good marriage, like communication and things like that, but it's all centered around the male. I don't know why I'm just flipping through this, but I am. Joe W. Burton wrote this about women, for women on how to be a good wife and a good mother. I just find it, the whole thing, kind of ironic, but that's okay. I'm just glad we have published female authors about these things these days. Okay, guys, so this fairy lamp, this is Home Co. And as you can see, this is a clear glass fairy lamp. I honestly love these fairy lamps. I like the texture of the glass, and I like how versatile clear glass can be. Um, as you can see, the the lights really do flicker um, in this fairy lamp, and it, it's so pretty to have one of these out for Christmas um, with red lights or green lights. I just love it. It's so pretty, and this is one of the larger size fairy lamps. Okay, guys, salt and pepper shakers. Um, this is the second time I have picked up this set. This is a dachshund, and <laughs> this is a larger salt and pepper shaker. Sorry about that, guys. Um, there's his adorable face um, because he's a dachshund the shakers do come apart in the middle of his body because dachshunds have such long bodies I think this piece is absolutely adorable I love everything about it it's in really really good shape and it's really cool you can also obviously use it as a display piece I think maybe it'd be fun to have sugar or something else in it um, but yeah, it's absolutely adorable. Okay, I got this at a thrift store today, and I got this. These are uh, from the brand Congress, and they're playing cards. 
this set of cards and all, I think all Congress cards are printed in Spain, which I think is kind of cool. Now, I got these because I thought these would be really cool package toppers. So, if you buy something from me soon, you may see these in your package. I just thought they were really cute and they were a good deal. So, I did go ahead and pick those up. Now, if these cards or anything else you see in this video, um, well, if you're interested in purchasing anything, just you can go ahead and email me, calypsoantiques at gmail.com. You can also DM me on Instagram, calypso underscore antiques, and I'll be happy to work something out for you. Okay, guys, speaking of shakers, I'm all tongue-tied today, I'm sorry. Um, these are Italian, and these ducks are so cute. First of all, they're in great shape. I do believe they are mid-century. They definitely look like it to me. Um, let me go ahead and show you the bottom where it says Italy. There we go. They're both in really good shape. Now, I do believe one is a little bit more pink than the other. Maybe not. At first, I thought this was a girl, but I think whatever. They're whatever they want to be. Um, I think they're really happy and they're really, really cute. And I love that they're Italian. I think that makes them even a little bit more special. What do y'all think? Okay, these. So these are also shakers, and these are anthropomorphic oranges. Look at that. Now, I do believe these are newer. I have not researched these yet, but the reason why I'm saying that is they are made in Taiwan with the sticker, and the stopper looks a little bit newer. Now, when I say newer, maybe they're from the late 60s or early 70s. I just don't think they're well, you know what? If they are older, they're in really, really, really good shape. Um, I think they're adorable no matter how old they are, and I was really happy to get those. Okay, I also picked up two brooches, and I got these today at the thrift store as well. This first one is Trafari, and it is marked here somewhere on the back. I don't want to spend too much time trying to find that mark. I think it's upside down. It's right here towards the bottom. I think you can see it. It does say Trafari. Um, it's an excellent shape. No wear or damage to it at all. And the other brooch that I got today is smaller. Now, this Trafari brooch is really, really big. I mean, if you look at it in comparison to the shakers, I think you can see it. Uh, this one is a little smaller. And I do believe this is an enamel with the gold tone. It is not marked. I don't think. Maybe it is. Maybe I have to get my loop out. Um, I will do so. I, I just thought it was really pretty. So I went ahead and picked that up. I also got these two for myself. I got these like 10 days ago. And I forgot to show them in a haul. I just wanted to show them as a nod to Patrick. Tr trusty Huckster Mercantile. Um, he did a video recently about souvenir pieces. And I thought these were so cool. I collect dragonware. So that's why I got them. But what's. The best part about these is they are souvenir pieces from Washington, D.C., but they're dragonware, obviously made in Japan. Uh, the dragon is really cool. I love this color of dragonware, this blue-purplish color. Um, there's a made in Japan. I mean, it's just so funny that dragonware was so popular that um, it was sold here in the States as souvenir pieces from D.C. Just, it's awesome. Um... So there's that. Oh, I guess one is the White House. I'm sorry. One is um, Congress and the other is the White House. The Capitol building. I'm sorry. I obviously can't talk today, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay. This. This is Ellie Smith and this is Amberina. And this piece has a lot of cadmium in it. I cannot wait to show you the glow on this. Get ready because this really, really does glow. I am going to post some pictures I took of this piece on Instagram. Look at that. Look at how much cadmium is in this piece. Even the handles glow. This would look so amazing in a black light cabinet. Um, this is probably the most glowy piece of Amberina I've gotten to date. I mean, look at it. It's just, it's phenomenal. I love it so much. Okay. I'm going to move on from that just because, I mean, the glow speaks for itself. It's just absolutely beautiful. Did I say it's Ellie Smith Moon Stars? I think I did. But if not, it is. 
Okay, so over the weekend I also picked up some um, hand em hand embroidered and crochet pieces um, at one of the estate sales. The woman that had lived there was very prolific in her sewing, needlepoint, embroidery, crochet. Um, so I did pick up these pieces. Now I do believe that these are placemats and napkins. I think that these are placemats and I think that these are napkins. Unfortunately, I don't have a good way to show them right now on this table, but they're in really good shape. There are only three of each, and I'm wondering if this was a three-person household at some point. Um, they're in great shape, and they're really, really pretty. I think both of these are great for summer, especially the red and blue and white one. I know a lot of people decorate for the 4th of July, um, you know, all summer, so... There might be somebody out there that's interested in that. And then this is just absolutely beautiful as well. Okay, so I picked up a bunch of paperbacks over the weekend. And this still doesn't get through all of them. So I'll probably show the rest in the next haul. This book is My Sister Eileen. And this is a reprint. Um, I want to say this is reprinted in the 40s. Let's see if I can find out. Yeah, this is, um, let's see here. It was first published in 1938, and this publishing, uh, printing, I'm sorry, is in 1942. So, this ended up being a Broadway play as well as a movie. It does have some wear to it. I just thought it was cool. I still like the cover. Um, you know, somebody loved this book a lot, which tells me it's worth reading. I might have to read that one myself. Then I got this. This is a Perry Mason book, and obviously it is from the 60s. Look at her. She's fabulous. Um, this is by Earl Stanley Gardner. Um, I, I'm very interested in this book as well. Look at her there. Um, <laughs> I just thought the cover was amazing, and I, well, I had to get it. Plus, it's Perry Mason. I mean, it's probably a great story, right? Okay, I also got this book. Um, this is... A gift to my dear Gina. Um, Gina collects a lot of um, medical items, a lot of kind of off-the-wall items, which I appreciate. Um, <laughs> I think it's awesome. So when I saw this, I had to get this for her. This is also an outdated book, but it is absolutely fantastic. First of all, look at the graphics in here. At the beginning, um, it has places to write, uh, all the information about your family, uh, your family trees, your child's health records. Um, I give quite a few pages on that, actually. This is over a thousand pages, and what's really cool is it has the, um, I think they're called medical plates. What are these called? I can't remember right now. It's been a really long day, but... This book is so cool. Oh, how appropriate. It's going to open to sexual hygiene. Hopefully I won't get dinged for anything I show here. Um, the pictures are also amazing. Um, I just had to get this for Gina. It is so cool. Like I said, it's over a thousand pages. Uh, first aid and emergencies in the home. A lot of these things may still be applicable today. Um, You may look healthy, yet you have TB. Ugh, these pictures are so cool. Uh, oh, yeah. This is a picture I sent to Gina as well. We're winning the fight against polio with all these illustrations. Um, anyway, this book is so cool. And I cannot wait to ship it to her because I think she'll love it as much as I do. Okay. Now, every once in a while, I like to show you items that I pick up for resale that are automatically going to go on eBay or Etsy, and this is one of them. Um, when I was at the thrift store today, I picked this up. I comped it out on eBay before I left. Um, it's Pier 1, and it's hand-painted, and it's an amazing shape. I did clean it up, but that's all I did to it. It doesn't have any chips or scratches or anything like that. But the last one sold on eBay for about $20, so that's why I went ahead and got it. Plus, look at how cute it is. Um, again, if anybody's interested in purchasing the mug, let me know. It's so cool. It's it's a larger coffee mug, which I personally love. Um, and look at how cute it is. 
Okay, so let me show you this Westmoreland fairy lamp without the candle in there so you can kind of get a better idea of how pretty this is. Again, it's called Ruby Red. It's still coming through. It's a little bit dark on my end. It is so pretty, guys. Um, it is flashed. So there's a little bit of wear. I did look these up on eBay and Etsy, and I didn't see any that didn't mention some sort of the flash wearing. Um, I'm trying to remember where it is. There's a little bit in here, but not too much, to be honest with you. I do still need to clean it out. I did not clean it out because I wanted to be as careful as I could with it until I found out more about it. I don't know how old it is. I have not been able to find that either. Uh, to me, it definitely looks like an older piece. It is so pretty, guys. It's it's beautiful. There's the marking there on the bottom. <laughs> so when I saw this at the thrift store, it was a thrift store I hadn't been to in a while. Um, and I was very surprised. First of all, I had gone down the glassware aisle once, and I was going my second round because I tried to go down the aisles more than once. I'm so glad I did. This was hiding on the bottom shelf behind a um, punch bowl. And I saw it. I thought, it can't be. I reached down and grabbed it. It was a little bit higher. Um, that's one thing that's happening to my favorite thrift stores here. They're independently owned. And one of them is a charity shop. Um, especially with the charity shop, I'm still going to shop there because I believe in the charity. And I know that I've seen the impact they've made in, in my community. So I like shopping there, but this other thrift store is for profit and their prices have gone up. But because of what this was, I went ahead and paid the higher price. I don't know if some of the managers are learning more about what's hot on YouTube sales or if they're just going off of eBay comps. Um, I'm not really sure, but this fairy lamp does comp for at least $70 on eBay and it's, it's beautiful. I mean... It's probably my most favorite fairy lamp that I have gotten so far. It's just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I think that's the end of my haul. Again, if you're interested in something, let me know. Otherwise, um, these items probably will go in a live sale. So don't be, don't be shy. Let me know. I don't want to disappoint anybody. I hope everyone has had a good Monday or, or as good as a Monday can be. Um... I've had a good day. I mean, I found two amazing fairy lamps. So, yeah. Um, I hope to see you guys tomorrow night. I have my sale with Gina at 7 Eastern on her channel, Vintage Digs. Go ahead and follow her if you don't already. I'm pretty sure most of you do. And then on Wednesday night, we have our late night sale. And that will be on my channel, this channel, at 1030 Eastern Standard Time. About that time, we go on after Katie at Vintage and Vinyl is done with her live show and tell. Okay, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I'm sorry there isn't any footage to go along with it. I couldn't record in the estate sales, and today I only got a few minutes at the thrift store because it was so crowded. Um, I haven't been to this thrift store on a Monday, so I kind of wonder if maybe people are, you know, going because it's Monday and they know people donated things. I don't know. It was just really crowded. But um, anyway, if you can, please share, like, comment. You know the drill. It really does help. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.